Hi new builders, my name's Chris and in this video I'm going to use a JavaScript function to make columns to total together within a subform. For more advanced help visit forms.newbuilder.com or check out our other videos in this series. Now that we've created a subform to deal with invoice items and totals, we'll need to create JavaScript that will activate when needed and calculate changes to quantities and pricings within the fields. In the invoice form properties, we'll go to custom code and click on JavaScript. Now this is the code we're going to use. So firstly this function will give the rows in the subform the name item SF. Secondly, each row is given a number. Then a variable P is created, which adds the name of the row and the number together. For example, item SF0002. To do the calculations, we make a variable for each column. Units is UN, unit costs is UC, and total is TO. The function then multiplies the value of units by the unit costs, and then takes that and changes the total value. Finally, the function adds up all the totals and changes the value of the invoice's grand total at the bottom. Next, we need to make sure the code activates when we need it. In the units and unit cost object, we'll create an event that when this field is modified, the code's activated. Then we'll create an invoice total object in the invoice table and the invoice form. We'll give it the same name as it is in the function. Lastly, we'll make both this object and the column total in the subform read only. Now that's done, we should be able to go into our subform and see everything works correctly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can go to forums.newwilder.com for further help and tips. Thank you.